Hi, Seekers. Welcome to Madness Life, if you're new here, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to become a member, link's in the description. <laughs> this is Willie. He is our mascot. He likes to hang out with us and scream at crazy shit on the internet. So, what's everybody doing? It's Friday. Freaky Friday. We're all about the fun here. Yes, we react to YouTubers, but in a fun way. We don't have real hate. We don't we don't g get into little groups and and hate on people cuz there's enough disturbing behavior on the internet that we don't partake in. We just come over here, have a little fun, comedy. Comedy has victims, but it's all in fun. No real hate here. I love all humans. Even when they misbehave. Hopefully, hoping some of them learn good lessons and the mistakes they make in life, like we all have done and moved on, right? Well, hello, chat. Deb, Thunder 420, Signy, freaking the sheets. Did you get your, uh, your bracelet yet in Canada? Freaking the sheets. JB, Christy Claw, Rain, Bloody Wilderness, Nancy, T, Portangelis. Grimes, and C. Griffin. You have fun over here? Thank you, C. Griffin. Mr. J. Quinn. Chantal and the Hamsters. I don't know how I just got over by watching that. Oh, I know. And then if you walked Gary unfiltered, he proved that those hamsters have been, or maybe just one, because I think we only seen her play with one last night on her live. Right? Did she show them both or just one? Anyway, he proved that she's had those for a week in that little tiny cage. That ain't good. But whatever. You do you, boo. Renee. Melanoline. Jarella. Courtney. Connie. From Australia. We got Australia in the house. Good day, mate. Christy Claw. So... We like to have fun here, and we find things that make us laugh. Yes, that's a travel cage for mice. Mice. Yeah, he showed they weren't new. Yeah. Yeah, we think it's when they went and, um, like, all the videos have been of all the things they did. So I think she made four videos out of my husband takes me to buy habayas and hijabs, right? So we think he made... she. She probably spent three, four hour day, right? And then she chopped them up in three or four different videos that she could upload, you know, edit, upload, do her voiceovers and shit. So we think back when uh, it, she was doing the hijab thing, I don't know, he kind of proved it was from the 23rd. Um, yeah, well, I'm sure his subscribers had helped out with that because I get people that send me some nuggets once in a while. And then I have to go deep dive. You know what I'm saying? So you're all a part of it. Yeah, I know. You miss a day. You miss a lot, Courtney. And that's the truth. So anyway. Oh, no. When you, and then she did her apartment tour, right? And he showed the square on the couch where the cage had been sitting. <laughs> I just can't with her. But hey, a lot of YouTubers do that. They don't. They film things, you know, a week back, two weeks back. Right? I don't do that. I just, because my phone with the data stuff, um, the storage, like I just, once I take, do all the videos, I get the, you know, make all the videos, I get them all edited and put up. Definitely why you didn't see the bedroom. If anybody really honed in and had a really good photo sh system, um, you could probably hone in on that silver door in the bedroom, when she opens it, it's kind of like a mirror. If you can really go in there, you can see the bed, and you might see the cage sitting on that nightstand. But I ain't got that kind of time, nor do I care. <laughs> yeah, she, um, listen, did you even hear last night on her live, besides her rant about FFG? God, is that getting old or what? Same words. I was like, I ain't even covering that. It's the same shit, different day. Anyway... She said in there, um, there's this really good restaurant. Uh, Sala sent me a video. 
Why would he send you a video if you live together? Don't you have discussions? So she, she always says something that makes you go, huh? What do you mean he sent you a video of a restaurant he's gonna take you to? Even Nader in his live today said, isn't it funny he's always sleeping when she does her live streams in the middle of the night? How much are your bracelets? I haven't even made them yet, Nancy. Um, I'm gonna have real stone healing bracelets. So I'm gonna have aquamarine tiger's eye. I am gonna have um, amethyst tiger's eye. I'm gonna have pink rose quartz and hematite. Those are going to be my healing bracelets, the four healing bracelets that have amazing qualities, okay, to help you out. And they work. <laughs> Trust me. Um, and then I'm going to have less expensive, really pretty crystal bracelets that I'm making. And I'm going to have my face cream. I'm going to have my rose clay face bar and I'm going to have my leave-in conditioner that leaves my bleached hair feeling amazed. I love my leave-in. My hair is bleached, fine, and my leave-in makes my hair feel amazing and it smells amazing. Like apricots and peach. Can I say yes, ma'am? Yes, there are bracelets for anxiety. <laughs> Hematite's a great one for anxiety. And I'm, I'm making um, a smoky quartz and hematite um, crystal bracelet, which will cost less, and it'll have the, so the horizontal cross. It'll have the horizontal cross. Oh, I don't. Oh, yeah, I do have one. Hold on. No, I don't. Where, I, where is it? Oh, there it is. The horizontal cross with smoky quartz. Oh, no, this is just the smoky quartz. This is a crystal bracelet. Um, the hematite will be a solid stone, 10 millimeter and 8 millimeter, and it'll be stunning, okay? And it can be male or female. Um, so, and then I've got hematite, but I decided to do, um, this has hematite and marcasite. Um, I may put these in the store too, but the hematite definitely relieves anxiety, and I like the two of these together, by the way. This one's the larger, and this one is going to be medium, small to medium, and this will be medium to large. Just got an aromatherapy necklace, but I'll take any help I can get. Oh, bless you. I've, I've seen, like you do the chakra um, stones, and you can put the oils on them, uh, on the stone. You could do a big chakra. It's like a lava, and it absorbs. Um, I just figured after a while it would get gross, so I just prefer to stick to healing stones. It's just, I don't know, it's just the way I am. But anyway, these two together are really pretty. I'm going to wear them today. You know what I mean? Keep you chill. Um, let's see what else you guys got going on. Thank you, Kimikaze. Christy Claw. Bloody Wilderness. The leave-in is amazing. I get millions of great reviews because I take, I do jojoba, argan, um, and it's got peach and apricot fragrance in it, um, just so your hair smells so good. You make your own face creams? There you go. Uh, yeah, mine's my magic face cream, and it is amazing. And I use Tamanu butter from uh, California. Um, I use a lot of yummy things and rose water um, because I have old skin. And if you go look at my Florida videos, I hadn't made my face cream yet. And that's what my face looked like. And I only use my face cream. Since I started making it, it's the only thing I use. And it is the only preservative in there is Optifin Plus, which is the most organic, um, the most organic preservative you can get because see my face cream doesn't need to sit in a warehouse on shelves like everyone else that's why you see just word after word of preservatives and I'm like no I don't want to absorb that do you see what I'm saying so mine lasts six months sitting on the shelf and one year in the refrigerator 
And that's why I only make batches every, I don't know, maybe every four months when I know everybody's running out. Because I literally have people that can't live without it. So there's that. And I do the locked-in shipping, which I, I, even one jar is coming in a one to three day delivery. Because, like Amazon, <laughs> call me Amazon Prime. Anyway, it's because I care about my face cream. And not only that, um, I'm protecting it. I won't put it in a bubble envelope, none of that shit. I'm not a cheap, like, you know what I mean? Um, I do the fixed rate, and I still take a $2 loss because they've raised it to $10.40, and I charge $7.90 for your shipping, and that's one to three days. So not Canada. I can't say anything about Canada. I have to send it Canadian, um, international, so it's pricey. It's like... <laughs> $29. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's worth it to you. If you know somebody in the United States, right, right across the border uh, that you could send it to, it'd be worth it. I mean, really. But anyway, so any more questions? <laughs> yeah, Kimikaze, you'll love it. It has changed my skin's life. Yeah, and it lasts. My husband's like, I put that on in the morning. And even... After all I do all day, even in the evening, my skin is still not dry. I know. I think preservatives, when you have to add so many to put them on a shelf in a warehouse, I think it just dries, it just dries the skin out. I mean, I've paid, trust me, I've paid $80 before for face cream. And it just doesn't do it. So, whatever. Um, when my, I'll tell you, listen, we're going to have a night in January when everything's ready to go. Um, I am going to have a night where my mods will be dropping that uh, store link and you can go in. We have a great time when I open the store up. It's so fun. Um, and all the inventory is ready. So it ships out the next day. It's really fun. Yes, Nancy, it's safe. It, the, my skincare. Just saying. Oh, Sarah's already in my shop favoriting it. See? I think the link is still in my about section. I don't know. Yes, chemicals. I will not even put on um, sunscreen. You can look up natural sunscreens, you know. But I won't do it because I don't... First of all, I'm allergic to a lot of chemicals. And second of all, I don't want the sun baking on my face with sunscreen that's now being absorbed because my pores are being open from the sun and now it's being absorbed into my body. And I don't even know what this stuff is. I read it and I don't even know what it is. So no, I don't care what the, I don't care what the commercials say. Not gonna do it. Thank you, C. Griffin. Looking forward to you trying my products. So yeah, I don't keep my store open 24. I mean, I always change stuff. Um, I'm thinking about, doing some really cool um, stuff. And I like to keep my store interesting, right? Kind of themey sometimes. I don't know. I don't want to talk about my store till I open it. So let's move on with the day. Come on, people. What's the fun stuff today? Oh, God, I love ice water. Honest to God. There's some people that actually don't like water. Oh, I just don't like water. It has no flavor. It's so refreshing. But I'm an Aquarius, listen. I have to live near the water. I have to drink the water. I float in water. Right? <laughs> you think water's gross, Dame? Wow. You'll really, really, really love it when you get older and your body just starts demanding it. Shani's getting a flare-up of the fibro. Oh, no! She needs Delta 8. I was learning about Delta 8. That stuff ain't good for your brain. Holy crap. Sarah B. loves the water. That Delta 8 is not good for you. For your brain. This could be explaining why Rev is kind of wiry and weird right now. Nope, I'm not doing that, Sassy Smurf. Nope, 
No, I am not putting my toe in that pool. No, I ain't whistling shit into my channel. And I, if I were her, I wouldn't even have took the bait. I would have never took the bait. Never. Nope. Unbelievable. But I'll tell you one thing. My friend Angie, she's Homeland Security. I would have went federal with that shit. Not on my channel. Go spread that shit in the drama community. We're not a drama community. We're the reaction channel. This is all we do. I don't play ball in the hater area. I, I can't even absorb that kind of stuff. It's really negative and it's just a cancer. It's just a cancer. And it's sad. It, it is sad. Yeah, we keep it fun over here. I want no part of that. I, I'm not going to change who I am because um, other people are engaging with each other and it's getting ugly and scary because there's enough of them on YouTube. There are enough of these people um, really destroying each other's lives. I'm not interested in that. That's a whole mentality I'm not even, I, I don't understand. And the sad part is in the end, nobody wins. I hate the fighting among reactors too. Thank you, Courtney. You're here for the willy and the laughs. Yes. Uh, I don't go into the dark part of you too. I mean, I don't care if other people do. I don't give a shit. You know, you can be entertained, but it's just sad. And the more we glamorize um, the hate, the more it will fill the YouTubes like it did the TikTok. I mean, I put up a video on TikTok and it was just a um, before the storm. You know, we already got two inches in two hours. Well, it got over 3,000 views or some shit, right? And if you go into the comment section, it was literally people attacking me. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I didn't respond because I don't care. But I was like, this is sad that this is how people just react because I don't know. I mean, we've all been through depression. We've all been through um, sad times in life. We have, listen, some of us, you know, we've buried a child and there's so many bad things that can happen to you if you keep hatred alive. And uh, um, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that those things will happen to you if you keep hatred alive, if you focus on hatred or you focus on misery, or you focus on depression. You, there's some people that will actually, they, they will actually make you absorb it. They will make you hurt. They will make you hate. And I can't ever go back to that place. Can't. I like a good laugh. And I feel Shani's a good, she's a good sport. I think Foodie Beauty's a good sport too. But there's some out there, they can't throw tomatoes. And those are the people I don't want any part of. Because what they got is so deep-seated that it is, intention is violence and revenge. And no, I wouldn't even be in a friendship with somebody like that let alone strangers on the internet. Yeah, there's two type of people now, good and evil. Mm -hmm. Yes, me too, April's Rose. And I'm gonna tell you that I was gonna start doing the Trish, you know, truthfully Trisha best moments, but um, when I did a deep dive, right, I realized there is some serious issues there and I don't think I'm gonna bring them to light. There's some other YouTubers that are, have done some really questionable things on YouTube and there's serious issues there that I don't wanna bring to light. I feel that Foodie Beauty is funny. She's problematic, she's sneaky, but I think it's all by design because 
How do you grow your YouTube channel if you're not constantly having your audience want more, right? So she's very tuned in to what she's doing. And so is Shani. Absolutely. So I like covering them because they're good sports and they're fun. Okay? There's no real hate. You get mad sometimes when she says shit that, that's wrong or hurts people. Yeah. But I also can appreciate when they learn from something or they're funny. I really can appreciate that. So you got to be pretty well-rounded uh, to be a reaction channel. Because if you hone in on one person and your whole spiel is just anger and hatred, then that says more about you than it does the person you're reacting to. Right? I appreciate the humor. But I also will call out things that are not very nice. Yeah, it, it, it is terrible. Um, like I said, I used to watch this person in the past and they were very funny and then something went wrong and then a very dark side came out. And when I seen that, I backed away, never to return. Do you see what I'm saying? Never to return. Uh, so that's why I'm not getting involved. And second of all, um, there's YouTubers I still watch that are going through it. And I don't expose them because they're really, in my opinion, hitting rock bottom. And I'll be happy to see the rise of the phoenix. You know what I'm saying? The rise. I really would. And like with Letitia, um, I thought she was legit. And I think I privated all my reactions to her. I didn't realize she was really seriously, severely mental, mentally ill. I thought she was the performance artist, right? Um, and the update on, you know, Love Notes for TLC, Letitia, is she got transferred from one... Um, one jail that was actually all about vegan food, if you're a vegan, right? Which she is. And she was kind of happy there. I mean, I know she's in jail, not happy. But then she got transferred and they're not into this, you know, keep the prisoners happy and you have less problems. Uh, so apparently she got another felony charge, which I felt was a little extreme because she threw her tray because it was like, you know how she is about her food. She threw her tray and she threw her orange juice on one of the correction officers and got orange juice on their pants. So they charged her with a felony. A felony. I'm, so, I'm sure they're sick of her shit already, but how about the mental illness part? Like, is she going to get treated? Is she refusing to be treated? Um, we know she's gone a long time now without her marijuana. Um, so I'm sure she's off the rails when she's manic. Um, yeah, it, it is a shit show um, with Letitia, and I hope she gets the mental health she needs. Um, but I wasn't aware she was as mentally ill as she is. I thought it was all performance art for the, you know, I watched a documentary on her, and I'm like, oh, my God. And I thought it was performance art, you know, for the camera. And there's another YouTuber that I didn't realize is suffering from some pretty bad mental illness. Um, I don't cover her, um, but I used to watch her all the time. So I'm hoping she gets turned around too. Yeah, she don't want help with medication. Most, if she's bipolar, paranoid, they generally don't, they want to medicate themselves. They don't want the medication that calms all that down because they feel like a zombie because they still haven't perfected a medication that... You know, it's kind of like a, I would say like, like a pill form lobotomy, if you ask me. Um, and they don't like the way it makes them feel. And there's a few out there. I mean, I worked with a woman that was on lithium and it's just, she was just, I don't even know how she did hair, honestly. But it was powerful. And she was not just a walking zombie 
But if she wasn't on it, she told me some horrific stories of things she would do and say. So what, what are you going to do with that? Right? So anyway, I'm just saying I'm being very careful um, who I choose to cover on my channel because we're here for laughs and hanging out. We aren't here for the ugly. If you want to see the ugly, go enjoy it on your free time. But to whistle it into my channel changes everything about my channel. And I'm not willing to do that. And there's a lot of stories out there. Oh my God. And I, I'm always looking for, is this going to rectify? Is this going to be... Um, is this going to turn out okay? Is this right? Is this wrong? I mean, there's funny shit out there. Right? To cover. So why go dark? God dang. I'm telling you, man, I, I don't know what's going on, but you can find corners of the internet and social media, or they can find you. And if you choose to engage, that's up to you. I wouldn't have engaged. Yeah, I know. Any attack on a jail personnel. Yep, yep, yep. But I hope they are able to see that she, Leticia almost can't help herself. She just flips out. Like she goes from zero to a thousand, not a hundred, a thousand. And she can't, she can't manage, she can't regulate her emotions based on whatever chemical imbalance she has going on. And I feel like she needs to be more in a psychiatric area than she needs to be sitting in jail. Well, Deb, we feel that way, but there's people out there that can't wait to really scare people. And I have no interest in people like that because it says more about them than it does me. So if I don't, if I don't whistle people in, then, then they're just coming at me for no reason. They have absolutely no reason to. I've had it happened to me before on here. And that was because I thought Katie was funny, but I didn't realize all the past beef and shit that was going on. And so because I thought she was funny, and I covered her once. I whistled in people that wanted to attack me for thinking she was funny. It happens. So apparently, <laughs> whatever people have done in the past, even if they change themselves, <laughs> right? Uh, I'm not saying Katie's changed herself in any way. I'm just saying like anyone, their past will come to haunt you, right? <laughs> oh my God. Your mom's manic and depressive and they're reluctant. They don't like to change their meds, yeah. It is sad. The medication is sad. And there's no, um, there's no happy medium. And I know people personally that just, it's like living a tortured life. Because you don't want to be like that. But it's called cycles. And they cycle. And they push people that love them away because they cycle. And they can't help the unhelp, you know what I mean? Like the, the, the emotions that, uh, that when they go through these cycles, they can't regulate the emotions and they, they upset people. They push people they want love away. It, 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 and it's exhausting to be in these people's life. It's exhausting. So that's hard. And that's just a subject... You know, that I'm not um, a professional in by any means, but I've seen family members and it's sad. Yeah, my friend was her own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. And it does take years to find the correct meds. And then um, every seven years, your body chemistry changes, your, your brain gets used to the meds and then you have to like start over. It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah, as a general statement, yes. Okay, so who wants to have some fun today? Everybody's in here. That's going to be in here. If you want to give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Thumbs down, whatever. It's still interaction. I love you. Uh, if you'd like to become a member, link's in the description. We're. I'm thinking about having a special 
thing. New Year's Eve. I'm not sure yet. Tomorrow night because I don't stay up usually. I would have to take a nap. And I thought about doing a special, maybe even just a video of just a special New Year's Eve. I don't know. I haven't decided yet with, I don't even know, like members only chat um, because I want to do something special for my members only for New Year's Eve because I appreciate all of you that support my channel in that way. I just haven't decided yet, okay? Let me decide, okay? Because I did do a four-year or four-hour New Year's Eve once. Oh, my God. We made hors d'oeuvres. Um, it, it did ring in. Like, it did bring in some negative people and some hateful people because it is New Year's Eve. People are partying. And I didn't like that. It kind of ruined it for me. So I thought about doing a members-only New Year's Eve, like ring in the new year from 11 till midnight tomorrow night. And it's weird for the West Coast because, like, we're ringing in the new year at and it's 9 p.m. for you people, which is weird. You'll be at a neighborhood party. God bless you, Mrs. Mud Duck. Um, so, yeah, I don't know because there's going to be a lot of people out doing stuff. So I thought about making a video, like a, a cool, I don't even know. We're boring on New Year's Day. I don't know. Let me think about it. I have all day to think about it. I know laughter would be fun, would it not? Let me think about it. And I'll let y'all know for sure, for sure. Okay, so. Guess who's up? <laughs> Boom! And if you're on the playback, this is Double X Archive. This is the last of the Shanny Archived cooking videos. So we're going to go out 2022 with the last Archive. Cooking video, Shani, please. 2023 is your year. You need to make cooking videos. Ah, uh, you know, it's high pay day today. Missed you. So, is that a cat? Um, this right here is a, um, what you call it? A panther. A black panther. Hi, Blondie. So, this is the last of the archived... God, I would have loved to got a hold of that uh, chicken and dumplings one. I heard that one was gold. So, Double X Archive, if you have the time, listen, the chicken and dumpling one, please upload it. I'm going to have to go in here and leave a comment and ask her to upload the chicken and dumpling one because I really want it. I want it. All right, so volume's up. Shani's going to cook some vegetarian lasagna. Oh, my goodness. There's the link for the Double X Archive YouTube channel. Please give them a sub. Tina B. Now, let's see her make some vegetarian lasagna. I see she pre-made the sauce. She's digging the Brett Michaels hair. Yeah. I, I, I always love when Shani would just be Shani. Oh, for shit's sake. Go over here and click it yourself. Hey. Hey. How you guys doing? Doing good. I got it ready, 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 ready for you guys. I do. I have it ready for you guys. And I'm so excited over this. Because I'm happy, 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 happy. One, two, three, four. Hi, heretic. Hi, Kermit. How are you guys? How are you guys? I'm so good. So, okay, the first thing we're going to work on is the ricotta cheese. We're going to be making a lasagna tonight. Okay. A nice, wonderful, tasty, homemade lasagna. Is everyone like... If you didn't know, she's part Italian. That's what she tells us. She's part Italian. So let's see if she can... Pull off lasagna, Italian style. Ready for that? Well, vegan like, style. I got this beautiful sauce. Let me show you my sauce. 
I should say vegetarian style. My God, girl, look at that pan. Mm-mm-mm. That shit looks like it been in the fridge, been taken out, because we got a little bit of crusties going on. Little bit of crusties. We ain't gonna... Listen, we're not gonna fault you for it. I'm gonna bring my screen. There we go. This has been stewing for hours. It looks like days. Looks like days. But I, look at that. Mm -mm, nope, chunk, too much chunk. Nope, 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 nope. It smells amazing. It tastes amazing. In case you didn't know, she never adds a G on the end of any word. Not even in the middle. I think she boycotted the letter G. Even tongue. She says ton. Oh my gosh. Looky there. I just missed that, didn't I? I'm sorry. Tina B's been a member for 23 months. At, oh my God, that's a long time. Thank you so much, members. And at the 24 month mark, remind me, Tina B, because I always send a free gift uh, for 24 month um, subscriber or members. Members. Members only. Let's just say it's amazing. So, because it's amazing, all right, we're gonna be, you know, making lasagna. That's even better. So, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna break two eggs. I still can't do that. I cannot do the one-handed egg. I, I just can't do it. Into this glass dish right here. And basically what we're gonna do uh, does she have pants on? Does she have pants on? Okay, yes, yellow. Okay, thank God. I'm just gonna beat it up. I'm gonna use a fork. Well, it's only, Tanya, she does say giggle. It's only the G words that have I-N-G, um, Tongue, lung, uh, anything like that, or ing, ing or ung, she totally gets rid of the G. So if she says uh, ring, she says rin. <laughs> Tongue is ton. <laughs> lung is lun. But we're just gonna beat it up. Uh, she always cuts her shirts off and makes half shirts out of it. She's a rock star. Never question the rock stars. Yeah, the soft G. They get erased from her history. Until it's nice and beat. And we're gonna add about two tablespoons of rosemary in this. Okay. All right. Five cloves of garlic okay. in this. Okay. Yeah, I said that. Five cloves of garlic. She loves to overuse the garlic. She's a vampire, people. And this is going to be in our ricotta cheese. Okay. That we have. All right. And then about three-fourths of a cup of wonderful fresh parsley. Okay. And it will basically kind of taste like a spinach. Okay. I guess you could say. Okay. Within the lasagna. But we're just going to mash that in to the eggs. All right. The next thing is the beautiful ricotta, ricotta cheese. I got part skim. I don't trust people who measure garlic, right? I don't measure garlic either. Which is good for me. Just stab it. And yes, she sits in an office chair and cooks at the stove. Just stab it. Oh, I love me some ricotta cheese. You know what's in a cannoli? Ricotta cheese. And you just kind of want to just pat that down. Girl, get a wooden spoon. You got a whole shit ton of them right here. Why are we using a tiny little... Disappears into her hands. 
Not liking the sound. Not liking it. She's got the Mystery Science Theater 3000 t-shirt on. Used to love that show. My son and I would laugh our asses off at that show. What's in front of the toaster? Um, that's one of those um, kitchen... I can't remember. I seen it. They left it when they moved out. I can't remember what they're called. We're just going to mix this in. Okay. I think I want to do... Second me Okay. I'm sorry, do you guys add sour cream to yours? Anyone? Or do you just... See, this to me is what you would stuff a shell with. Do you guys add sour cream to yours for your, um, for your lasagna? That's ricotta cheese and egg, spinach, um, parsley. It's the, gonna be for the lasagna. It's supposed to be a vegetarian lasagna. That looks so good. So ricotta's in cannolis, by the way. And that's a sweet thing. I want to You don't? Okay. I didn't know. I have never made my homemade lasagna. I do a cannoli dessert for you guys. Okay. That's really good. Sultry says, I just use ricotta, egg, and spices. Okay. And I'll be doing that in the near future for you guys. Oh my God, a second yeah. one? Yes, that's great. So you just mix up the eggs. Oh, okay. She put it in the fridge. With the garlic and the ricotta and the rosemary and the parsley. Okay. And get it to a nice creamy consistency. I actually want to add some salt in this. All right. Kind of need a little bit of salt in here. A little bit of black pepper. I would think so because I would just think it would be pretty bland without it. You know. Just so it has a little bit of a bite. You could also add, if you want to, red pepper flakes. Another thing you can do is instead of like the parsley, you could do spinach. Bait. I would totally do the spinach. I would totally do the spinach instead of a meat sauce. I would do the spinach. Spinach is awesome. I freaking love spinach. I love um, the vegetarian lasagna. I bought it before, like, you know, from a high-end place, and I freaking loved it better than regular lasagna. Good thing. So far, it doesn't look unappetizing. I gotta be honest. There is nothing to laugh at except for that pot with the sauce in it. Garlic powder. I hate kale, too. I've tried it. I can't do it. I can't do kale. It's like it sticks to your teeth. I hate anything that sticks to my teeth. It's so disgusting, which is probably why I don't chew candy. I don't like candy. Doing this. Yeah, Sam's Club makes a really good vegetarian lasagna. Oh my God. It is so good. I bought it from Sam's Club. Oh my God. I bought it from Gordon Food Service too. So good. Go. You have to massage Cal? For real? Yeah, and it's bitter. <sighs> you see that? It actually looks good. I'm gonna give you that, Shanny. I'm gonna give you the fact that that looks good. Now let's see if you can put it together. Because when I see people make lasagna, there's certain ways they do it. A nice creamy consistency. It looks amazing, doesn't it, guys? It really does. Doesn't it? Yeah. Nancy's like, no. <laughs> so beautiful. Anyway, we're going to put that to the side. And um, we are actually going to start. A okay, Courtney's going to give you a, a clue here, people. She massages her kale with salt, olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, and then it's not bitter. Okay. Still not going to do it, but all right. Assemble in. All right, we're going to assemble it. Wash your hands. Lasagna. Well, oh. actually, no, I can't wait. Okay. I'm going to do one more prep thing. Oh, okay. Let me okay. put this over here. You know what's sad, Shani? 
You got an entire island behind you. An entire island behind you. And you're bellied up to the oven in an office chair. Couldn't you have gotten like a tall, couldn't you got a, one of them office chairs that like literally hydraulics up and done this at the island? You stay over. Of course, then she would have had to get up, put it, things in the oven. One more thing. All right. I can't believe I forgot this. What? This is one of the biggest steps you want to do. Oh, God. I got some delicious Frigo fresh mozzarella to put in the lasagna. All right. On the top, I hope. She's got too many eggs in that mixture. That's why it's so yellow. Yeah, What? how many eggs do you put in a whole thing of ricotta? Just one? So we're gonna go and cut it into rounds so it can be easily placed on the lasagna. Okay. Yes, I make a cheesy lasagna. Not because I have to. Because you want to. Are we gonna sing the song? Are we singing the I Love Cheese song? Please, please sing it, Shanny. It's the end of the year. But because I want to. Oh, you use one egg. Okay. I'm learning because I've never made lasagna. I'm not a big fan of lasagna, actually. I make baked rigatoni, but I don't make lasagna. Me? It's nothing better than a cheesy lasagna. Right on, girl. There's nothing better than a cheesy anything. It's my favorite thing about the lasagna is the cheese. Same thing with calzones, actually. The same thing I like with calzones is the cheese. Let me turn this over. There you go. So you can see me a little. Look at your cute little fantasy hair. Now this is the Shanny we miss. Come on, Shanny, come back to life. The better. Hi. How are you? But you guys should know that I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. Yes, I do. I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da dum. I love cheese. Da dum. Da -dum. Yes, yes, I do. do. End of the year. So beautiful. This is such a beautiful, fresh mozzarella. That's pretty it's thick. Gonna make this lasagna. Holy shit. So tasty. Girl, I'd be eating a piece of that right now. And I good. love mozzarella. It's and melty. We're gonna yep. try this mozzarella. Yep. <sighs> My favorite is the fresh. Oh, fresh mozzarella. I like the little balls too, and you can coat them, and you can make little cheese curds. Shut up! Mm. Right on. It is amazing. It is amazing. It is amazing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. She only drinks soda. That's why her teeth just started falling out of her damn head. Right. She didn't realize you have to rinse your mouth after you drink anything sugary. <laughs> let's assemblage. Okay, let's do it. Got the fupa out. The fupa's airing out the kitchen. This lasagna. Now, the first thing you want to do is take two scoops. Okay. Let me put this over here so you can see it. Let's do you it. Take your two scoops of your sauce and put that in the bottom of your pan. Way too chunky for me. I don't like to bite in things. I like things, listen, if you're gonna do noodles and sauce, I don't want a big bite of something up in my teeth. I like everything to be diced and just flow. I don't like big chunky stuff. I don't like big chunky onions. I, I like them diced. Oh. So big old mushrooms are not gonna happen. Now, this being in the bottom of your pan will be essentially 
to, to stop it from sticking, which I do in my baked rigatoni. To, you know, have a lasagna not stick, and it also absorbs that beautiful, yummy salt. Antanas used cabbage for what? There you are trolling people again that you have nothing to do with. Like you're doing? <laughs> like you're doing? Okay, we're reviewing a cooking show. So you're either with us or you're not. Can't help you. You want to be hateful all day? Dude, listen, new year coming. I hope you change your ways. I hope you can have a laugh. Hope you can enjoy something in life. But if you can't, sorry, I can't help you. Sauce that we made. Now, I made these actually before the stream, and I made them, I didn't cook them all the way. El Dante! But I cooked them enough so they're like pliable, so I could just put it in the pan, and it'll just be really easy. Okay. Like so. Now, don't, aren't you, okay, question, because I've never made lasagna. Are you supposed to spread the ricotta cheese on um, each noodle? Like, kind of when you stuff a noodle, but with lasagna, you actually spread it on each noodle? See what I mean? All right. There's nothing more than I can do. It looks like four will fit in here. All right. And we want to put another two scoops. Hold on. So you don't put ricotta cheese on? Okay, who's the next troll? No, you are making fun of obese people. You do it to that Amy's life journey. I don't, Amy's life's not on here anymore. Oh, uh, why can't you stream about your own life? Did it. You can go watch those. They're way back there in my, but I have more fun with this. So my life's boring. Oops. Obviously yours is not because you're here. Of the sauce. Actually, a little bit more, I think, about. You can block them if you want, Tally Girl. Because they're just in here to derail the chat. Three. Three passes, maybe four passes of the sauce. Yeah, like, okay, when you layer stuff, like, wouldn't you want sauce, noodles, ricotta cheese, so um, sauce, noodles, ricotta cheese, sauce, I don't know. No, three looks like it is perfect. Now, folks, if we were proper with our cheese. Kimmy Kazi, that was an accident. You were hidden by mistake, but you're unhidden. What cheese do you think we should put first? Mm. Let's put a little layer. Of Parmesan down. First. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Or if we're going Italian, people, we're going to need the Parmesan. First, we'll put a little layer of parm down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. To get that nuttiness of the Parmesan. Oh, yeah. Doesn't this already look delicious? I know it does. So, we're gonna take the mozzarella and we're just gonna place this in right here, right on top. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. See, this is where I feel like, this is where I feel like shredded cheese would be more in the middle of it. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just looking at how I would want to eat it. <laughs> That's a lot of cheese in the middle, right? We're just gonna load this thing with the cheese. Okay, do it. Oh yeah. Oh, this, I mean, we work into the top layer already and where's the ricotta? Cause we love cheese. Cause that pan's getting full. I'm just saying, it's pretty much to the top. We love cheese. Hi, T. Bellerina. This is old. This is when Shani used to cook and our hearts are broken. This is the last one in the archives. So hopefully, like I've said before, if Shani wants to do her cooking channel again on Twitch, um, I will be part of the group that makes sure she gets all the food she needs 
through Instacart, right? Local grocery store, Rev can go pick it all up. And every time she wants to do a cooking video, we'll get all the ingredients. We got plenty of people that want to get involved because we love her cooking videos. We love cheese. Right, Courtney? Right? Cheese song. Da -dum. Yes, yes, we, we do. do. And now I'm going to put it on another layer. Oh, man, that pan's getting full. Of the noodles. And we're going to press down so we know that it's, like, nice. And, and I don't know if that was synthetic wig she had or if she had actually dyed her hair that color. Because even when she went to the restaurants. Uh, or went out with Rev, her hair was short. So it could be a wig, pink wig. I'm not hating it either. Because I love pink. Oh, yeah, guys. There it is. Oh, yeah. Press it down. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh it's full. It's full. That is heavenly. Yes, yeah, she still had her kids at this point. Guys. All right. Now we'll do about another three to four scoops of the sauce. When, a, when is the ricotta cheese? A huge bowl. Uh, mushrooms are floating in there. Big mushrooms, whole mushrooms. But when is the ricotta cheese going to make its appearance? The pan is way too small. You should have made two pans. Almost at the end of this, folks. Yes, this was in Colorado. We're almost at the end of this. Oh, my God. I thought, like, whenever I've had lasagna, even the vegetarian, which is my favorite, um, I've had the ricotta in the layers. God. Oh, my God. That's true. Big slices of mozzarella cheese like that, they're going, well, if it's in an oven, it may not let out a lot of um, water, but it's very watery. She should have used uh, shredded, yes. Shredded it herself. Good. Oh, it smells so good. Or took that mozzarella cheese, right? Put it in a cheesecloth and squeezed the water out, right? Leo wife, hello. Aqu Aquarius moon, hello. Yeah, it's a lot of mozzarella down there in that layer. Like, I wish smell of vision was existence so you could, like, smell this goodness because it's so... <sighs> you Listen, you got enough sauce, ricotta, noodles. I think she forgot the ricotta. I think she forgot it. It should be noodles, sauce, ricotta, and mozzarella repeat. Yes, payday. The ricotta goes in the layers. Okay, she's doing it her way. All right. Here it comes. The next thing we're going to do... Oh my god. We're gonna plop all this ricotta down. Oh my god. That's gonna be the top layer? All of it. Oh my gosh. All of it. I mean all of it. Oh my gosh. Now if you want to do some comparison with Shani and her Italian lineage, right? Her Italian Italian ancestry. Um, you can go over here to an authentic. Oops. Go to Sandra Ruchek. That is uh, Shan. Um, wait, what did she name? Oh, she named it Sandy's Kitchen now. Is that what she did? Hold on. Did she rename her channel? She did. Okay, I can handle that. Um, anyway, this was Shanann's mom. The Watts family, this is Shanann, and we support her. I've been subscribed to her, and she's authentic Italian, and man, the dishes she makes, if you really want to do some comparison with Italian cooking, everything she does is amazing. Italian walnut tarts. Mm, my gosh. So anyway, this is Shanann Watts, mother, um, and I support her channel, Sandy's Kitchen. 
authentic Italian cooking. So it would be fun to do a comparison, really. But she's amazing. Love, love watching her cook. This is the first time you've heard the cheese song. Yeah, it'll stick in your head every time now. All right, so I guess we're going to put all the ricotta on the top. Here we go. She makes stuffed manicotti. Sandy does. Sandy Ruchek. Her, her channel's called Sandy's Kitchen. Uh, she has 35,000 subscribers. She's amazing. She makes stuffed ricotta. It is unbelievable. Oh, yes. I will be making it. And she makes her own authentic uh, Italian um, sauces, too. Let's get real scrapage action. Oh, my. Ah, not quite sure I would make lasagna this way, but all right. We'll just spread this. Oh, oh yeah. I know it looks overflowed. I really don't care. Oh, ma'am. Ma'am. Shani. Shani. Oh, my God. You're going to bake that? She, um, somebody said she put too many eggs in it. See, Life's Beauty said the ricotta looks weird. It's yellowy. And then Lydia's all, ooh, ricotta on top, an abomination. <laughs> it can be overflowed in my opinion. Well, you could have made two pans. You got plenty of stuff. Can somebody drop the link to Sandy's Kitchen? And it's S-A-N-D-I-E-S. She's putting the ricotta on top, Maybella. I think Maybella's a little behind. It's okay. We love her. This is a lasagna. She'll catch up to us. It can be messy or clean, however you want it. I can't wait to see this come out of the oven. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God is right. Want to try? Yeah. I bet your Rev wishes he could have some of that lasagna right now. If you use eggs in it, only use one. Would she use three? You could add a little milk so it isn't clunky. Yeah, and I was saying sour cream, like you can't, or sour cream would thin it out too. And I love sour cream. Holy shit. Ooh, it's so good. Hi, Mount Teresa. <clears throat> the noodles are al dente, yes. They'll cook the rest of the way in the oven. Lick the bowl, please. And then I'm gonna put some Parmesan. No. Rev, don't lick that bowl. There's raw eggs in it. He's that kid. He's that kid, is he not? He's raw cookie dough and shit. He is. Rev. <laughs> wow. Or, yes. Put yeah, the eggs, doesn't that make it expand and get bigger? <laughs> Parmesan in. And then put a little thing of some... Well, Linda, Lydia Jay, if you're not caught up with Rev and Shani, you can go over to my playlist, and I have a whole Shani and Rev playlist. Mozzarella. There's uh, Sandy Ruchek's uh, Real Italian Cooking Channel, Homemade Cooking. Um, you can click on that, and um, you can subscribe and help out the Ruchek family. Um, they had a devastating loss because of, you know, Chris Watts and his uh, whatever, whatever, sociopathic bullshit. Uh, and so we like to support her and build her channel and um, make her feel good. That's what we do. And for Trolls. Balone? that around okay oh oh all right oh don't no no last no. layer folks we're doing another layer oh yes 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 thank you thank you thank you <laughs> this is a sad part man this is the last layer because it's like full Oh my God. This is a full. Bye, P Day. Stuffed lasagna. Oh my God. But you know what? 
My kids ain't gonna complain. No. Nope. Thank you guys for subbing to Sandy Ruchek. You will really enjoy her cooking. She is 100% Italian and everything is mouthwatering. The husband ain't gonna complain. <laughs> My viewers definitely ain't gonna complain. Nope, not complaining. Fire Marshal Bill's on alert. Oven fire. Haters, they may complain. They always complain. They always complain, yeah. Uh. You're right. uh. Well, Rev's not strong like Bull. <laughs> Jarella says, uh, 44 years of eating raw cookie dough, brownie batter, whatever. I'm strong like bull. Rev's not strong like bull. Let's just put it that way. He's deteriorating. There we go. And then... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's going to do it. She is going to pour more sauce over that pan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More scoop of sauce. Oh, the pan's disappeared. Pan's gone. Where'd the pan go? <laughs> Spread that around. Oh my, just pour the pot and on And husband, there. I'm gonna need your muscles. Okay, what do you need? To put this in. To put it in the, uh, so, yeah, the oven. Okay. The oven, yes. Done deal. Oh yeah. Go Shanny, go oh Shanny. Get your so groove on, go Shanny. Why even use the pan? <laughs> She's laughing. She's Listen, she probably had a smoke sesh before she did this. She's cracking me up. I should have known I should have gotten a bigger pan. You think? Or two pans? A thicker pan, babe. Oh, I can't believe this. It's so yummy. Oh, uh, okay. Now... Snickers just sent me an email thanking me for the beautiful uh, bracelet I sent her. I picked 10 members. They got um, handmade bracelets from me as a gift because I always appreciate my members. And I just got an email. You're welcome, Snickers. I'm glad you think it's gorgeous and you love it. Thank you. It's very thick. I know. I know. We're, we're not going to have a problem with this oh at all. Are you putting more? Yeah, she put more cheese on top. Oh, Come on, my. do it. Do it. It's going to be tin foiled over. Yeah, you could have made two of those and froze one. So, wow. the next thing is the rest of the cheese. We got to put that on. I love so cheese. The dumb. Uh-oh. We're going to put the rest of the Parmesan on. Go, girl. Because why not? Why not? I think those noodles need to be... um. Like, these noodles that are exposed, I think they're going to dry out. I think you should rub some more sauce on there. Because they they're only cooked al dente. So if they just go in the oven like that with the dry heat, because we know you don't have a convection oven. I don't think that is. It might be. Shit. It was a nice place that you lived in. But anyway, they're going to dry out. Pantan is like, I can't wait for this to come out. And then we're going to take the rest another bag of this mozzarella and provolone and put that on. Fuck yes! Yes! We love cheese! Da dum Don't judge me. Cheese over there. No more cheese! <laughs> like I said, the best thing about a lasagna <sighs> is the cheese. Yeah. yeah, when, okay, listen, Shani, when you fire up, here's a, another thing, Shani, when you fire up your cooking show again on Twitch, please, please do, I will make sure you have a amazing, amazing apron and an amazing chef hat. I personally will make sure of that. Hi, Snow Queen. Like, I don't know what they're talking about. It looks like a great lasagna to me, man. Oh, my God. This looks so good. Yeah, he does. It's real exciting. Yeah, but you guys have been smoking dope all day. You know what I'm saying? Any of y'all in high school got high and you just, right, you just raid the, the, the vending machines at school, getting the munchies because you had to be high to tolerate how stupid high school was. Uh... Our, our school, I went to a really rough high school. 
the, the first part, let's just say junior high and my first year of high school was in a really rough school, like seriously rough school. In fact, they didn't even care that pretty much all the kids were out in the woods getting high at lunch. Hell, I think that I even think the teacher and shit were out there too. But I'm just saying, it was really rough area, really rough high school. Um, so you were <laughs> you were either in or you were out. Thank God I was in. Oh yeah, guys. This is an amazing lasagna. Alright. So the next thing we must do, obviously. Oh my God, Kimikaze, she said she's gonna do it. She's been saying she's thinking about it. Did she actually say she's gonna do her cooking show? Okay, so here's how this has to play out, Shani. You gotta make up your recipes. If you're doing two a week, we can handle it one a week. I'll even, I'll give you one a week. Uh, you you tell us what, what, what you need. And I promise you, everybody wants it. Even your viewers on Twitch want your cooking show. And if I'm gonna be covering it, right? Then I'm going to contribute. I'm going to contribute financially to get that food to your house because I think it's fair. If you're going to let me react to your Twitch and you know what I'm saying, then I'm going to make sure I give back. Thank you very much. Love you. <laughs> Is the tinfoil wherever it has gone? There's the press and seal. That's parchment. Tin foil, where did you go? Oh yeah, Freedom Deep's like, at Christy Claw, high with your teachers, what in the world? Oh yeah, I know our teachers got high with the students. We had some questionable male uh, teachers too back then. Yeah, they were, they were always making some, I don't know, <laughs> questionable remarks at the girls that developed early. Rev might be an idiot, but he really loves her. These two have chemistry. I said that. I told Chantal, I go, pay attention to their chemistry. That is so bizarre, babe. All the drawers are empty. It, like, disappeared. For real. Call William. William always knows where everything's at in that kitchen. Hold on. She will. Remember when Rev was looking for the laundry detergent? And he go, they're like, where's that laundry detergent we bought? The pods, where are the pods? William! And then William goes, they're right over there. And they're like, thank you, <laughs> right? Uh, so, right, We're, William will find whatever she lost. I think it was wax paper. I think she's gonna try to cover this, this m mountain of noodles. It's not in here. Your husband, Duchess Hippie Witch said, my husband's 100% Italian, and he said that lasagna she's making is a wreck. And we love it. I can't wait to see it come out of the oven. It should be around here. Where the fuck? Will? Do you know where the tin foil went to your- I told you she'd call Will down to find it. Will knows where everything is. I told you. I wasn't even kidding. Yes, I'm looking all over for it. Yeah, it's right behind you. Oh. It's sitting on the pantry. Oh my God. Hold on, I gotta get rid of Siri. Stop, Siri. I did. Oh. Anyway, it's behind her on the island. He goes, it's right behind you. Yeah, they're not high. Uh, hello, Shannon. Right. Rev's back there cracking up. I'm sorry, Will. I wasn't even looking up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, this is what Rev does. He's playing a, a game on his computer at the, the tall top table over there. And he don't even look up. He just responds. He just responds to whatever she's saying, but he never looks up. He goes, sorry, I didn't even look up. All right, so we want to put this in for about 30 minutes. We want to tinfoil it. Why? But we want to put it in for 30 minutes. But, well, hold on. 
Won't that cheese? Okay, never mind. Try to keep it like domed so it doesn't, you know, go over. Oh, you set your 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 S I R I uh, to uh, Aussie accent. I love the Aussie accent. I love when they call it the car park instead of a parking lot. That's what we call it, United States. You have arrived at the car park. I'm like, yes. For the cheese, by the way. Keep it domed. Yeah, dome it. And then at the last 10 minutes, you want to put it under, directly underneath the broiler. But ma'am, the noodles that are exposed, they're going to need to be rubbed down with some of the sauce or they won't finish cooking. So it gets all melty. But then again, when that sauce thins out in the oven, won't it just roll over the edges? I don't know. Looking forward to it. Yes. Oh. Oh, this is going to be an amazing lasagna. Have you seen it? Babe, what? have you seen the lasagna? He doesn't look up, Shani. Oh, oh yeah, I do. I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'm not coming over there. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> good one, Rev. Yeah, good, good, yeah. Okay, honey. I, it looks like massive, but that's the way you do it. It looks massive, but... And that's how you make a lasagna. You make yeah, it massive. That's right. Since I have two hungry teenagers. Yeah, all right. That's all you need. Babe. Yes. I need your master. Marvelous. What's it? Hold on, people. We have breaking news. Hold on. I got to see what happened with this. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I have to see what happened. I've been following this and I have to see a suspect is in custody with the, the connection with the Idaho Four. <gasps> Who is he? 28 year old? Who is he? Oh my God. Brian Koberger. The, the sources said that the authorities knew who they were looking for and had tracked him to Pennsylvania. <gasps> How did he know them? How did they, how did he know them? Oh my God. Does anybody, oh my God. I'm sure we're going to get a news conference today. Okay. That's crazy. I can't wait to find out how he knew them. Yeah, one person did all that, right? Ah. Oh. So horrifying. It's so sad. Seriously. He knew them because it was a known party house. Yeah, party houses aren't as safe as they used to be in the 80s, right? That's because there was no social media, right? There was no people finding things out and, and, and then showing up. And I just can't. I can't with social media. That's why I try to keep it light and fun. And um, I can't stand. I swear to God. I just, I can't believe what it's done to our country. Oh! <laughs> Macho man shirt on. That's perfect, actually. Oh! Man's man. Wait, nothing. Right here or second? First. Why do I find it hard to believe that little tiny Rev has more strength to put that lasagna in the oven then Shani, I mean, like I said, I would never even get in a physical fight with Shani. I would kick her, I would kiss her ass because she would kick my ass. Like I know when to back down. And Shani's one of them. She got an arm reach like Holyfield, you know what I'm saying? First or second? Uh, put it on the second. Second? And her hands are boxing gloves on their own. Okay. Woo! Yeah, okay. Look at that stove. It's like a Picasso. <laughs> Frame that shit. 
Done deal. And we'll set the timer. Okay. Okay. Hello. Girl got the fupa out. She like cut strings on her t-shirt. The Mystery Science Theater. You know how they made the fringe? She does have pants on everybody, so settle down. Four, They're six, yellow. Three minutes. Was that oven on? Hold on. I just noticed. Was that oven on? Man's man. Like nothing. Right here or second? First or second? Uh, put it on the second. Second? Okay. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Done deal. And we'll set the timer. Okay. okay. Yeah, 30. it was preheated at 350. Minutes. <clears throat> That's going to be incredible. What are you doing? Why'd you do it again? There we go. And I shall clean this up. Good girl. Amazing. I know, man. This is, oh. So good. It smells so good. It yeah. is so good. Huh? No, it's still going on. Okay. You're cool. It's it's like the camera's totally off. Okay. You're cool. Go ahead. I just, we love you, dude. I hear you. I seen a secret. You know how this is um this is like crusty water, you know, that gets on those glass tops and they're a real pain in the ass. I seen where this person made a concoction, right? Now I can't remember the concoction, for fuck's sake. Uh, anyway, you put it on, and then you, you spread it all over it until it's dry, and then it absorbs that, and then you just take the scraper, and you just do scrape, you use not like, where you, it's a glass top, okay. So anyway, it's kind of like a, it, it's not really a blade, but it's a blade, but it's not like a bl razor blade. Anyway, anyway, you just keep pushing and the thing looks brand spanking new. If I find it, I'll show it to you, I promise. Thank you, totally, we love you. And people have tried it and said it's amazing. It's such a good kid. No, not a rubber scraper, it's almost like a razor blade. But you go real lightly, you're just taking that product off. And, you know, he really is. He's such a good, amazing kid. It, it was a concoction. You had to do, um, it was baking soda, vinegar, and I think Dawn dish soap. I can't remember. And you make a paste. I bet, I wonder if OxyClean would actually do that. But anyway, when I find it, I'll show you. Because I got, um, yeah, it's a, I think it is a cooktop scraper, but people were using other stuff. I don't know. And when I find it, I'll show you. Okay, Zach, go upstairs. Thank Quit sending your kids upstairs. They like to enjoy themselves. I hated when she did that. I'm so yeah, I have barkeeper's friend. It's okay. Um, I do my stainless steel refrigerator with it because it removes the oxidation. But when you get this um, from boiled over water, it is the barkeeper's doesn't even do it. I've made barkeepers into a paste, but I never let it dry. So maybe if I would have made it into a paste, put it on there and let it dry. But no, it's something about the baking soda that actually absorbs this crust mixed with the apple cider vinegar, which breaks it down. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Yeah, Barkeepers doesn't help me no. either. I know, I hate these ceramic tops. Absolutely. Sorry about that, guys. But I'll definitely do a video on it when I do it. What do I use on my stainless steel? I use the Barkeepers on my stainless steel. It's, a ma it's magical. It takes all the oxidation off, and it looks brand spanking new. Amazing. I did a video out on my channel.
right. It does drive got me crazy. This bowl all cleaned. Okay. So I'm just gonna put the rest of the pasta sauce in here um, and put it in the fridge. Okay. Because I, on Monday, have something very special for you guys. Now you see all the food that I've been cooking over the weekend for you guys? Well, I was planning on showing you what to do with the leftovers okay. we have. Okay. But that is an amazing sauce, by the way. Let me give you a close up to it. Okay. That uh, is a beautiful, amazing sauce. Okay. And it tastes divine. All right. You know, they sell covers for those glass bowls, you know, they just stretch over them. It's amazing. Oh, I hate that stuff. That stuff says it clings to everything. No, it doesn't. That pressed down paper. I hate it. I don't it. really get it that much. I hate it. It says it works, but. You use shower caps. There you go. So I'm pressing down. Yeah, the air still gets in there. Yeah. Yeah, I like the bowl covers. You can buy them on Amazon and you can have a whole drawer full of them. But I actually get the Loctites now. It has the four locks on it and, and it seals itself. Oh my God. I use it for everything in my pantry that would go stale. I mean, you put a whole family pack of Oreos in one of those and you lock it tight. You can put it in the cupboard and I'm telling you, they never, ever go stale. And same with like goldfish crackers, uh, saltine crackers. Everything goes in those Loctite to my house. Keeps them, it keeps the air away from them. I did a whole video on that too. But nobody watches those videos. Trolls. That's why I don't video my life. Boring. Nobody's interested in that. They want to have a laugh. So, let's talk. While we're waiting for the lasagna, I figured we could talk, guys. Since we're waiting for it to bake right now. And she have the most beautiful eyes for real. You should have marketed those. My first video was you doing your pantry. I was hooked. Thank you, Nessa Cita. Did you go and buy them all when they were on sale? You got like 34 of them on sale. It was like one of them lightning deals on Amazon. By the way, um, Amazon keeps an eye on your search history in there. And so when you go on lightning deals, they will pop up things you've looked at before and not purchased. And the, it's amazing how they'll do recommended for you that are on lightning deals. And oh, the deals I get are insane. I love it. You could call it your messy lasagna. Yeah, I could call it my oversized, not going to fit in a pan lasagna. I got to see this shit. I don't want to sit and talk. What's she doing now? You know, that's, that's my plan. Is to just... Yeah, she used to have a Jeffree Star palette. And she would do fantasy makeup. And sometimes, man, she did some amazing fantasy makeup. Like, I was like, damn, that is cool looking. Right? Because I like that. I like when, you know, like, I like when drag stars, uh, drag queens do fantasy makeup. I watch that on TikTok. There's a couple guys on there that are, they actually go, do shows. And um, I did one on my video. I did, <laughs> um, I did Diabetes um, makeup tutorial and I tried to follow it and it was a lot of fun. We had a great time on my channel with it. I didn't have what I needed as far as the white. So I used a white shimmer to use where I had to, but I'm just saying, I've done a lot of fun things on my channel. Everyone around me happy. 
No one's mad. No one suffers. Everyone's just happy. Yeah, and Diabetti came into my chat and um, from, um, from RuPaul's Drag Queen Show. Uh, season, what was it, 15? And Diabetti came into my chat and we, we were hanging out. It was so fun. Oh, by the way, Christina Blackfeather, if you're seeing this, thank you for that um, video today. That was really sweet of you and thoughtful. This is the Shani we miss right here. Not the one that's depressed and crying and miserable and broke. I mean, we, we you can make money on Twitch, Shani. Come on. Do the cooking videos. You start making the money. Get some self-worth and glow up. Glow up like you're meant to do. Get your fantasy makeup out. I think her hair is dyed pink, but these are extensions. Because um. you can tell the difference. She She always put her real hair in the little... Doggy um, buns, right? Which is absolutely adorable. I'm too old for that shit, but I love it. Anyway, um, I, I really think she could get her life going again if she started cooking, because we really do get a kick out of your recipes. We really, really do. What's going on here? This one, she was, look at her, bellied up washing dishes. Stay tuned on that. A little surprise. I'm thinking of it. I'm making you excited to start cooking again. That's awesome. I'm, I'm excited. It's been a while since I got excited about cooking, guys. It's been, it's been a while, and I'm so excited over it. I'm really enjoying See, it makes her happy when she does these, and she does love the reaction channels. There's times she grosses us out, and there's times she makes us laugh. And this. Oh, thank you, Leo Wife. I'll look at the email as soon as we're done. Part of my life. I really am. Girl, you need on a full shirt. Look at her, doing dishes, putting them away. See, here's Rev. He don't look up. You see him over there in the background? He's playing a game. Oh, I know, this kitchen was gorgeous. Huge dining room, nice table. It's too bad they blew through all that money. They did break off the granite right here because this was a brand new built place. I love the farm sink. Ah. I'm just basically doing things that I want to do. And that's what you need to do again. Go back to yourself. And that I love. There you go. And not letting other people tell me what to do with it or yeah. how to act. That's granite. You know? That was that was granite that got broken off. Somebody must have leaned on it. It's one of those fitted pieces that was supposed to come out. It came out to here. And they broke the whole piece off. Because <sighs> it's like... I, I believe, if I remember correctly, that had a... A full chunk that came out the edge just like that piece. Why should you tell me how I should act? You know what I mean? Because that's what the internet does, Shani. It's called commentary. It's just, it, don't even worry about it. Who cares? People, if they can't be spectacular, then they gotta, you know, run around and tell you about yourself. I love to tell people about themselves, and I don't care if they tell me about myself. As long as it's funny, I don't care. Okay, it's coming out. What state did that? Well, this is when they lived in Colorado, in uh, the legal marijuana state. Now they live in Pennsylvania because they got evicted, lost, basically spent all their money, and now they're life poor. It's a little bit of a delay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to get the good. There. Oh! Oh my goodness. It's got to be all over the bottom of the oven because I see it leaving the pan. So there's a good angle for you guys. Oh my yeah, when Colorado became one of the first legal states of marijuana, I'm going to tell you right now, the, the landlords were making a killing because people were coming by bus, by car, by horse, right? Uh, <laughs> by camel. Uh, by mule, right? By flying monkeys, by drone. 
and they were moving to Colorado. They were just moving to Colorado. Those landlords, not only were they making bank, but anything that, anything that came free was rented within an hour, right? As soon as it was empty, it was rented. People are like, I don't care. You don't need to clean it. We'll clean it. Thank you. You know what I mean? They were doing anything to get the deal. I mean, that was funny shit. God, look at that. Oh, we're just going to let that brown up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, And, um... What, you putting it under the broiler now? <clears throat> Rev had to leave his computer to come look. Let me put that back. Oh, where? Oh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Where did <laughs> she even see it on her leg? Because her pants are patterned and so is the oven mitt. <laughs> oh, my lovely. All right. We're gonna take it off the bake. Put it on and the broil. Put it on the broil. Broil that shit. Broil that cheese. Um, did you forget about it? Oh my god, how long until you took it out? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you got all involved in the chat. <gasps> Here we go. Uh Jason. Yeah. You have Yeah, I know Leo Wife. Leo Wife just sent me a link in my email to the chicken and dumpling, but it's on Dragnot's channel, and he does commentary through the whole thing. So, I don't know. I'll have to see how much commentary, how much pausing he did. Because I usually don't react to a reaction channel, because I like the whole video. Um, so, I don't know. I'll look at it. You have to see it. The browning is beginning. Just beginning? It's been in there for, like, ten minutes. <gasps> Here it comes. Brown, you see the brownness oh. coming? There's nothing better. Then brown, bubbling, mozzarella cheese. Oh my God. Except for the bottom of that oven. Oh. It's amazing. Oh. 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 How could you not like, like that? That, oh. That looks so good. I agree. That looks so good. Bring it out. It makes me so happy. It looks so good. Toasty's all, not gonna lie, that looks good. It really does. I ain't even mad about it. I ain't even making fun of it, except for it spilling over the pan. Bring it out. Okay. I don't know where they put it. Okay. Uh, well, I just need a cloth. My oven's, um, uh, the bottom of my oven's pretty bad right now because my husband cooked a, um, <laughs> uh, chicken pot pie. And I got to figure out what to do because I don't like self-cleaning. It emits this whatever in the air and I don't like it. Um, so I did see a TikTok about, um, how to do that. And I'm going to, I'm going to figure it out. I don't like oven cleaner either. It's too toxic. We have a cloth. Um. Can I use this? No, that's plastic. That's plastic. William, can you hand me a cloth real quick? William. <laughs> Where are the towels? They, she did not have proper kitchen, you know, things for the oven. We were looking for another... Oh, the self-cleaning is horrible. Not only that, your freaking oven is damn near glowing red, right? And, and it emits this... I don't know, but it takes hours, and I don't like it. I don't like it, and I'm not doing it ever again. Like a dish rag or something. Dish <laughs> Look at he's got He's got the oven mitt on. Rag or something. Uh, Thank you. Or if you we have to take it. the delicious lasagna out. Another mitt is Thank you. Perfect. perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You're using a walk. You have one oven mitt? Oh, my God. Oh. 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 Rev's hair's all dragging through the cheese. Do you see this? Doesn't that look amazing? Oh. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not even mad about it. I can't even believe. Yeah. I can't even believe it. Wow. Like, oh, you need that. Thank you, buddy. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much. Let me do some camera action. Wow. That's Look like... at this. Woo! Zach, no, 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 no. Thank you. Amazing. Oh, Look boy. at that. Holy shit. 
Look what? at that, folks. Oh. Okay, with the sound effects, cut a piece. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I, did I did did I make like a supreme lasagna? Is it good? Bye, Nancy. Have a great day. Cut it. Like, is, is that something that suffice? Is it gross? Like everyone says, my cooking's gross. Is that? Yeah, but is, listen, it's funny, Shani. So it's worth it. As long as you guys eat it, nobody gives a fuck. Now listen, it looks like a pizza, a deep dish. Gross. Or does it look like amazing? Oh. Cut it. She's gonna cut it. Well, you know, since I'm mom, there's just like a little bit of this like on the side that I could like sneak, I guess. That's gonna just be to, hot as balls. Don't put that in your mouth. Like have a little like. Oh yeah, she could do. She could be really pretty when she wanted to. There are so many fantasy makeup and hair she's done when they had money. And I couldn't even believe some of the stuff she did. It was really actually pretty professional looking. I mean, not this one, but she's done some fantasy makeup. I'll show you. And it, it was actually incredible. Hold on. Oops. <laughs> I think she even had some makeup, like, shows. Oh, God. I got to put in Shanny for Christ because all these other Shannies come up. She's done uh, some really cool stuff. Everybody was like, get back into that. She could do some really cool makeup. She didn't do a lot of them either, though. I don't know why. But she used to do makeup tutorials. And that's one of them up there. It was crazy. She could, oh, it was crazy. Some of the fantasy ones. Bite of it? I mean... Your cooking is not gross, I promise. Thank you. I agree. Get out. Jason, here, yeah. you wanna take- Get up from your computer cause you're gonna get a bite, boy. Little taste test. Here we go, and his hair will drag all in it. Bitey of, uh, oh. I want I want you to do this on camera for me, honey. Okay. Here he comes. Thank you, my producer. All right, let's try. You want me to try it on camera? Okay. Oh it's my. just a little bit of the ricotta and the onion. Here we Here go. go. Okay. There we go. Try, drag that hair through it. That's your edge. Oh my God. Yeah. I know. What? I know. That's a wifey taste. I know. Shana, Shan, or Shan, Chantal, Chantal, Sala. I called him Shana, that was Shala. So it was Chantal and Sala. Shala, <laughs> Shala, pay attention. Pay attention to what a, a real relationship is. Thank you. You're welcome. Amazing. I, I did it, guys. You did it. You did it, Shani. Amen. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. Hope to see new cooking videos in 2023. Make that your goal. <laughs> Did we have fun? Yes, we always have fun here. Boom, chakalaka. I love cheese. Da dum. He does look different now. Yeah, hopefully they can get it together. You're welcome. I'm glad you had fun. I don't know if Chantal took back the hamsters. Shani was definitely happier in Colorado. For sure. Thank you for being here. I love you guys. Hey, I love y'all. Thank you. I'm still going to try to figure out. I'll let you know. I'll let you know what I'm going to do for New Year's Eve. But like I said, the last New Year's Eve, I tried to make it fun. 
I gave out amazing gifts to anybody watching, right? The names went in a hat, but I had a very small audience back there, back then. And then I did um, like made hors d'oeuvres and we hung out and we laughed. Um, and we just got some shitty people that came in. And that's not how I want to spend my New Year's Eve. I'm sorry, I don't. You know what I mean? It's just not how I run a ring in the New Year with assholes. So I'm sorry that happens and there's nothing we can do about it. So I thought if I do a New Year's Eve live, that it would be a members only. But then I'm like, well, I only have so many members and what if people all have plans? Like, why would I, you know what I mean? Like, why would I, I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it. I might just make a video and put it up on my channel and, you know, thank everybody for a great year. I know blocking them is great, but it's also just shitty. And that's not how I want to ring in the new year. I just don't. I mean, it's like on a normal day, I don't give a fuck. But it's like New Year's Eve. I'm really hoping for a better year um, on YouTube. And I wanted to put together something that is just meaningful, right? And I don't want anybody trying to change, uh, derail the chat on New Year's Eve. So I don't know if I'm going to do anything. I don't know. I might make a video. I might make a video. Because me and Mr. Nomadness, we don't go out. We don't drink. We don't party. And um, you know what I mean? And, um, and, it, and it, it, was, it was a tough year. We, we had some losses in 2022. Um, and I want to, I want it to be different. I just, I want 2023. I want everybody to cancel and get rid of the hatred. I want to come together as people and have laughs. Is there another channel of your van life? I've never had a van life. I'm just, we bought a van and we're tricking it out. But we're not van lifers. My God, I'm almost 60. You think I can? Come on now. I sleep in a king size bed. Blimey, talk to Chantel. Who's Blimey? Yeah, in my about section, you'll see my other channel, No Madness Reactions. And and right now we're doing a van build for fun um, because we want a van that when we go to places that cost ridiculous amount of money to stay with our two dogs, Airbnbs and all this shit for what, two nights, three nights tops? Because um, my chihuahuas go with me, right? We go on trips, they go with us. So we got to pay all that extra, right? And we don't like to, I don't know, like leave them in the room when we go do stuff, right? We don't want to leave them in the car. So now we're tricking out a van. We're going to have air. We're going to have, oh my God, it's going to be amazing. Uh, so we can take our dogs and go, we could, we could park on a beach. And I'm going to create a screen right by the bed so we can open the back doors, lay right on the bed, look at the beach. Oh, yeah. Living in a van sounds homelessly, homelessy, homelessy. Listen, anywhere is home, as long as my husband and my dogs are with me. But no, we're not going to live in it. This is going to be self-sustained, so we don't have to pay uh, to stay places. About the hatred, when you said you hoped for everyone to put hate aside hatred, I said, Chantal needs to hear that. Well, Chantal is getting views with her it's not real hatred. You get that, right? She knows what gets her views. Aquarium. Uh, she knows what gets her views. She doesn't have real hatred. Now, there are people out there that really do have real hatred. And I hope she don't link up with them because it'll hurt her because she's really not a hate, hateful person. She gets mad at people, but she's not really that triggered. When you, you want to see her triggered, go look at 
what Nader did to her. That's real. So she, you know, it's the end of, it's the, end of the year. Let her be her. Yeah, she lives in her own world and it works, <laughs> right? I live in Florida and hardly ever go to the beach. Sometimes morning walks, but that's it. Well, when I lived in Florida, yeah, I had to work full time. My husband worked full time. Um, and uh, we went to the ba beach when we could, but we were, you know, we were inland. So it took two hours to get there. And so that was a pain in the ass. Um, and then when we lived, when I had to work for full time, we didn't get to the beach very often. Once that focus shifts to another, instead of a reactor, she'll break away. Well, and here's what I thought. You know, if we start covering other stuff and Shani becomes a star, right? She has to, she has to glow up to fix her life, right? And we're trying to help Shani glow up again, right? From all the mistakes she made. I'm about that. I'm about that. Everybody in their lives made mistakes. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the people out there trolling people, uh, if they were out there and their life was was doing it and making it, uh, they would be cheering people on and, you know what I mean, and having fun if they're on YouTube. They wouldn't spend all day just hating people. That means their life's miserable, right? Uh, so they can just deal with themselves. But there are people on here that, you know, we, we have like, people ain't getting away with shit, Right? when they're abusing animals or kids or they ain't getting away with that shit. There's no way. And if it wasn't for the reaction channels, uh, there's a lot of things that have gone undetected on YouTube. And there's a lot of things that have been called out by reaction channels that these people got removed because they were doing things in the, that were bad. Remember, uh, remember uh, what was the name of that family channel? And the woman had all those kids and then found out they were being abused to make her money on YouTube, right? They, oh my God, it was so horrible. Um, family channels, by the way, creep me the fuck out. They're weird. Why you would expose your children hoping Disney will give you a deal? I'll never understand when there's so many weirdos out there. You know what I'm saying? No, it, w it was called... Was it? Oh, I can't remember. That woman went to jail and those kids got removed. Or are you, oh, I don't know what you're saying. Um, anyway, those kids got removed. And then there was adult creators. I'm not gonna say his name. And he was grooming young girls that really had a bad life at home. Mm-hmm. And they would go and live with him. Mm -hmm. And then there was another one. Can't remember what, where he was from. But anyway, if you didn't have reaction channels catching all the little things and the nuggets, right? You're either, you're, you're not gonna know that people are doing things like that or you, 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 get a, you, you do it for a laugh. There's been a lot of problematic family channels, right? There's families that have been sued. Um, I know there was another one called Eight Passengers. And that one was questionable. Not with, it was like the mom would do anything for the money on YouTube. And they, she was exposing certain things and it got called out. Well, she took her family channel down. <sighs> yeah, I don't like family channels. Nope, never have, never will. I won't cover them. I won't cover them. Nope. I mean, look, what, there's a lot of things that have happened to child actors, you know what I'm saying? And they're messed up um, because they were forced to do things that, you know, for money. It's just so, oh, I can't handle it. Thank you. Yes, I love comedy. Good, bad, or ugly, it's funny. If it's funny, like Damon Wayans said once, right? He said it to his kids. I don't care what you do. But if it's funny, like, you know, I go in the bathroom, you done glued your brother to the toilet, right? If it makes me laugh, you're not in trouble.
Because there's a lot of things out there that are so funny. I sit and laugh my ass off at the Karens in the world. You know the ones that just show up at your car and tell you about yourself? What? That shit is funny. Because they're having a bad day and they decided you're the target for the day? That shit cracks me up. There, Jarell Ada, I don't even know what to think about that. I don't even know what to think about it. I'm not putting it on my channel. Nope, not doing it. Mm -mm. Or I would already took care of it. Um, there's certain things you can't do on YouTube. Uh, they will take you down, and I'm not doing it. Not talking about it. Can't do it. There are rules. So we're allowed to react to other YouTubers, but when we go out there and try to present to you uh, things going on that may have a lot of money behind it, it ain't happening. They're not going to let you. So we got to keep it YouTube. Keep all things YouTube. But I still would never cover a family channel. Wouldn't do it. Mm -mm. So we're going to try in 2023 to get Chantal home from Kuwait, right? And we're going to try to get Shani to where she needs to be in life. So maybe uh, she can be reunited with a physical visit with her sons, which I think, you know, would be healthy for them, right? Just, you know, there's mom. We need to hug her because kids need to hug their moms. They do. It's very important uh, to their future. So anyway, so we're going to try to help her feel some sort of way, make her happy. Um, I think once Shani starts moving forward in life, you'll see a big change in her. But I'm not going to sit there and wish her death, okay? Not going to do it. It's 2023 coming up. So anyway, I got things to do, people. And I am going to have a wonderful day. And I may or may not see you tomorrow. Because uh, Saturdays... I hang out with my husband. He's my best friend in the whole world. And sometimes I come on Sunday evening and do my preach at Sundays. Um, I don't know. Just stick around. Keep your notifications on. And if you like to watch, I mean, there are other, we may even get all funny with Roman. Roman cracks my ass up. So we may react to a Roman. Let's help Roman build his channel. He is funny. Got to give that to him. Hi, Celebrity Juicer. So we may cover him and uh, some other people. We're going to get laughs. 2023 is all about the laughs, people. All right. You all have a great day. And do something kind for somebody today or something. Uh, call somebody uh, you haven't talked to in a while, right? And um, once again, prayers for RV Fat Cat. We're going to pray for her every single day and every single night, please. Thank you very much. Um, all right, guys. Have a great day. Love y'all. Bye.